Hey everybody, welcome to the Crafty Queen channel and I am back at you again with another makeover video. And this time it is my dining room and I'm about to show you how I glam this room up. I got it looking so nice. Now look, I have some bit of bad news. I am not going to have any sneak previews of my next makeover in the end of this video like I usually do because that is taking a little bit longer than I expected. So sorry on that. But this is a two part video series so after you watch this video please be sure to watch my other videos so you can get all the details on how I made this and you know what let's just get to it. Now for those of you who have been following my makeover videos, you know I gotta start off with a fresh coat of paint. But I'm gonna do something a little different this time. I'm gonna use the exact same colors, but in two different forms. One semi-gloss, which is going on the top part of my walls, and a flat paint, which is going on the bottom part of my walls. And then I'm gonna stencil in the design and put a chair railing. Oops, somebody thought it was a good idea to lay down on my freshly painted baseboards. Now he got an attitude. And this is how my walls turned out. Aren't they lovely? If you want to get a tutorial on how I achieve this look, just click on the link up top for the second part of my video series. Now I'm going to take my key shelf and I'm going to paint it with this white contractor's paint to give it this really shiny glossy look and I'm going to complement it with these two signs that I got from Dollar Tree. Aren't these so cute? These signs um, also inspired some of the looks that you're going to see that I used in this dining room as well. And I want to give a quick shout out and a thank you to my family who helped me pick out some of the items that I used in this room. And as you can see, they also helped me install my curtains. The white curtains are already mine, but these pink curtains I got from Amazon for $10. And I'm going to use these beads that I got from Walmart and make a curtain tie with some elastic. Now since the pink curtains were long enough to touch the floor but the white ones weren't, I ended up switching them around and putting the white ones up front, but I'm showing you the exact same method that I used to style the curtains though. One of my favorite pieces in this room is this rug that I got from Ross for only like $28. Not only does it feel good, but the design of it is so pretty. I also got these pink chair covers from Amazon. I think they were only like $25 to $28. And I'm just gonna use them to cover up the black parts of my chairs. I really like the brown look because it's going to go with everything in the room, but I just want to cover up the black parts. This picture of this flower I got from Burlington for only $30, and I'm going to bring my mirror back into this room. I'm going to take these four storage bins from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to spray paint them silver. And the front part I'm going to cover with some marble vinyl that I also got from Dollar Tree. Then I'm also going to glue on these fake diamond pieces as little handles. And ultimately I'm going to use these four storage bins for guests to take their shoes off when they come in my house and put their shoes in the bin.
I picked up these books from this store called Second and Charles. Every now and then they put out a bin with free books so this time I took advantage and I covered these books with the remaining marble vinyl. I'm going to take this blush pink pillowcase and I'm going to sew it together and make a little table runner for my side table. And I bought a few of these flowers from Dollar Tree and Pop Shelf. This apple came from Goodwill. It was so adorable. I had to have it and I just spray painted it silver. And this is how I put everything together for my side table. I'm just going to show you guys the picture frames without the pictures in it because that's a little too personal. I didn't want to do any permanent changes to my vase so I came up with the idea of covering it with this plastic table cover from Dollar Tree and I also got these Dollar Tree pillowcases, um, the white ones that say good night and good morning on them. I cut the words out because I only wanted the white silky look. And then I cut the pillowcases into pieces, dipped them into some watered down Mod Podge, and then I used that to cover my vase. Now, the trick is to kind of move your hand in a bit of a turning motion to get the waves that you want. And with each layer that I put on this vase, I had to set it in front of my box fan for it to dry. I used this leftover rhinestone ribbon that I used to decorate my car for my car makeover video. You can see that link up top if you want. And I just taped it around the top of this vase just to finish the look off. I took this throw blanket that I had laying around and I'm just going to cover up this furniture dog bed that I made for my dog some years ago that he doesn't really use just because I have nothing else to do with this thing. And if your vase is ever too deep for the products that you're putting in it, in my case these sticks, just put your sticks into a pool noodle and then put them into the vase. And you will take your vase from looking like this to this. I love my birdcage de wall decal so I came up with the idea of putting it in my hallway and the burgundy birds match the burgundy rug that I have. While we're on the topic of bird cages, I took my bird cage that was outside in my yard and I spray painted it white along with this candle holder and I glued them together and I decided to glam up this bird cage by putting in a few items and this is going to be the centerpiece to my table. This is a Dollar Tree doily that I spray painted rose gold for my rose gold Christmas decor. And I'm going to use that with this look. I picked up some extra large bamboo skewers and some white yarn from Dollar Tree and I'm going to make some pompous grass decor with it.
to go with my pompous grass, I'm going to use these leftover wine bottles and this bowl also from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to try to make a marble effect with it with using a hydro dip method. And here are a few before and after pictures of how everything turned out. Between the marble bottles with the pompous grass and then the bird cage and don't even get me started on my wall like that's my first time doing something like that. I don't even know how to pick a favorite in this room. You guys please leave a comment below let me know what your favorite piece is and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so and keep encouraging me to do what I do. Thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate all my subscribers out there. And like always, I'm going to catch you guys next time. Bye.